determined that the one-to-one -one ratio was almost significant in the chi-square. So now we want to see what the two-to-one ratio is. All right? What are, what's the first thing we do? Right in the class is good. And we got girls and we got boys, right? Are there any other thing besides those two classes? No. no. Okay. How many girls do we have? 30. 30. How many boys do we have? 18. 18. Good. What, what do we do after we get those? Add them up. And 30 plus 18, if, if I'm right, is what? 48. 48. Thanks. 48. And what, what do I do after I get this number? Divide by three. Why do you say three? Because it's a two to one <laughs> ratio, and if memory serves me correct, correct, two plus one is three, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna divide that by three, and what's my answer there? Sixteen. Now remember, I've got this sixteen here, so I want to put it into a two to one ratio. So I take this times two for this, and I've got thirty two, and one right there for sixteen. So that's 16 times 2 and 16 times 1 for my E1 and my E2. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, good. Now, how do I get my D? Subtract. Subtract. So this is negative 2 and this is positive 2. What's my D squared? 4. four. So I got 4 and 4. And I know to get my chi squared, I put 4 over 32 and 4 plus 4 over 16 because chi squared is d squared over e, okay, for each one of them. What's my chi square value? Point what? Three seven five. Point three seven five. Am I done yet? No. Okay, right, because this doesn't tell me anything. This is just a random number, right? Is that right? Okay, okay, good. All right. So, what do I got to look at? The chart. It's called the table of chi-square. Here it is. So I look at the number of phenotypes. How many phenotypes do I have? Two or phenotype classes. I look for my number. It looks like it's right here, 0.375 in between 50 and 70. The key thing is to check your phenotype classes, right? Because some people want to look at this one, right? Over there. Because that's what you were looking at before, the wrong one. You're going to look at the right one this time, right? Okay? Will you always look at the right one? Oh, yeah. Yes, you better. Okay? Because how many phenotype glasses do we have? Good. Okay, so we look at that, and we see that we've got right here 50 and 70 percent. It's to the left of this line, so is it significant or not significant? Not significant. Not significant. And is not significant good or bad? Good. Okay, good, right. Because it's like if you damage something, you don't want it to be significant. Like if I, t if I slap the camera like this, okay? okay? It hurt it a little bit, but it didn't hurt it very much. If I hit it really hard like this, then that might damage it and we can't YouTube anymore. Okay? Y'all got it? Okay, good. Did I hurt your face? No. I did hurt your Can face. Can I turn it off now? Oh, it's still rolling? <laughs>